very good afternoon and all present myself Fani Sultana working as assistant professor in the department of management studies. Today we will discuss uh, on the topic like forecasting. We are in the second unit and previously we have uh, uh, come across uh, like uh, see uh, what is forecasting that is demand forecasting and what are the types of forecasting available and on which the what are the methods of forecasting can be uh, what are the methods of forecasting and we have qualitative quantitative forecasting under which qualitative forecasting we have uh, different uh, types that is based on the uh, uh, time series and based on the uh, regression and uh, uh, those things we have discussed and uh, we also have on qualitative we have different uh, types of techniques and we have also discussed that those will be discussed in the our third and fourth topic of the unit so we have come across forecasting uh, what is forecasting cycle and what is the factors affecting forecasting and today we have uh, so our flow of uh, uh, chain is we are very clear that suppose if you are going for introduction of any subject not only it is limited to operations management we are if you are going for any subject uh, we have uh, see uh, what i what i say so introduction next comes the topic what is the uh, nature and importance what is the scope of the subject why i have to so always i have a question that why i have to learn the subject so by learning the subject what is the outcome what is the expected outcome i can so each unit have specific outcomes so by the end of the unit we have to understand so this is what the learning which i have arrived uh, after learning this first unit of so and so subject so here uh, we studied what is demand forecasting and what is the need now as a common man uh, i have to think why why this is what is the need to study the demand forecasting and we have discussed the types of forecasting and what are the objectives of demand forecasting so so what is the objectives of demand forecasting we have uh, again if which is relevant to the forecasting we have short term objectives and we also have the long term objectives so in which is relevant to now short term objectives if we see formulation of production policy so how the uh, production policy so we have to frame a strategy so based on the strategy what is the production uh, policies we, we cannot just like that go on make a product just like that i need this product i am going to make so it should have certain policy and regulations which is framed by the so we have standard uh, uh, metrics we call it as isi etc so this is the metrics we have to follow on the quality aspects so this is the one of the aspect i am putting as an example so formulating pricing policies so i cannot fix uh, uh, see uh, we have selling price we have the cost so cost is nothing but the amount we spend that is expenditure on the production of particular product so selling price which means i have to sell the product which is available to the customer which is available to the customer on which i am giving the that is the maximum rate so suppose if you see uh, on the back side of any uh, product we will see the mrp that is maximum retail price so beyond this i which cannot sell the product so this is the maximum price we have to sell in the retailer shop so i cannot fix uh, for example 100 grams of tea can be sold to uh, from right from starting from 60 rupees to maximum 130 rupees i cannot sell 100 grams of tea bag uh, uh, will be uh, sold at the price of 1000 rupees so which is against the policy making so i have to formulate the pricing policies controlling sales so we have our con the sales in our control so we cannot normally uh, it is not under our control but we have to production in order to make our production in the control we know what is the estimated sales so how this estimated sales can be uh, based on the data that is what we are talking so based on the availability of the data what the pro product is uh, how what type of uh, demand is expecting the product which is relevant to the product so this product is expecting this amount of demand that is what and arranging finance so like uh, so this is the my production pricing and all this are fixed so i need money to produce so money to make this operation successful so this planning have to be executed so all this i could say only with the help of finance 
so we are going for long term uh, objectives so this is the uh, short term objectives can also be quoted as uh, the basic objectives so basic uh, that uh, we are going to see uh, in the uh, uh, in the initial stage of production so with this i will stop